Hey, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. And I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Much love to you. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you send me out each and every day. It is truly a blessing the way I can send you out some good vibes and return it by doing the same. So I'm so grateful for that. So thank you. Mwah. Much love to y'all. But that being said, much love to everyone. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Or if you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me. Or even if it's about the content of my video, or you just want to tell me about your spiritual gift, all is welcome, long as it's positive. Or if you feel like you enjoy what you heard and I moved you some kind of way, spread the word, thumbs up, like, and even share. Go ready to be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. And today, the music I am listening to, well, tonight, because I'm doing my videos at night right now. Is Overcome Depression by Nick Mario Beats to boost serotonin, dopamine, endorphin, and healing music. And I will post that link in the description box below. You know, with the shifts and stuff all going on, that can put on depression. And Lord, have mercy, it's showing up and set you free. And just speaking of that, set me free. Uh, my video today is about Twin Flame 101, The Truth Will Set You Free, but first it'll piss you off. Leslie, you, you know what, thank you for saying that. A few, she said that like last week or the week before last, and then I turned around and I was listening to that Lennon song by uh, Nerd, and he, that's the first thing that came popped out of his mouth. And I had to ask Leslie, I was like, Leslie, did you get that saying from him? And she said, girl, no, did he just say what I thought he said? <laughs> Yeah, he did. And obviously, you know what? When we're on our journey, you know that truth will set you free. You know what? You know what your truth is. And we can be, you know, stubborn, but heads about it. You know, we can be going through stuff, and you will see the truth right there in your face. And sometimes we'll ignore it, and like we don't see it. <laughs> When we know we need to face that mess head on, and that's what you need to do. Because, I mean, I'm telling you, like I told y'all in my last video, I got to take a break. I said, I love what I do. I said, I'll go ahead, you know, if I feel like, you know, spirit telling me, you know what, you need to make another video. So, I know you want to relax, but you need to make another video. Then you will know. Y'all will get that notification. You know, if your notification bell is on, as soon as I pop up a video, you'll know you'll get a notification and um so it's just like when we're on this journey you could be going through the traumatizing stuff you, you could have been through any kind of abuse it could have been from parents it could have been from different family members it could be from a co-worker it could be a friend or a spouse or anything you know and it, it can really put a toll on you it really can it can make you put walls up it makes you look at people different make you probably not even trust folks the same but it's like you have to put in your mindset that not everybody's like that because it's like you know even you know one of my friends was telling me the other day it's like when we put ourselves in these bubbles and it, you know that kind of makes us Olympic you don't need to put yourself in a bubble like that because it's just like you know, you, you will send, tend to consume a lot of things. If you see something, you know, a certain way all the time, that's pretty much all you're going to get. If that's what you see all the time and that's what you put out all the time. And there is just like, you know, things have, have to change. You know, there will be people walking out of your life that needs to be. And, you know, sometimes we get upset about that, you know. Because it's just like there's times I do said it before you know on this journey you might start with a handful of people and by the time you finish that journey you're probably lucky if you actually have one maybe two <laughs> maybe two but that's all you needed in the first place it's just like you know when i had people wiped out of my life you know i used to get hurt like why is this happening i've been friends with these folks for this and that many years but then when you know when 
you know, it's your plan that, that show you people's true faces. And sometimes we need to see that truth. Even when it pisses us off, we need to see that truth. You know? And it's just like, when we walk on our truth, it might piss other people off. Just because you had the balls enough to actually come out and stand your ground. As long as it's positive, stand your ground. And some people that don't have that, that you know, that self-confidence in themselves, go knock the next person. You know, I've seen so many times I've worked my butt off making videos, trying to make, you know, make people happy, you know, educate people because this is something they might not have known about themselves or they might not have paid attention or, you know, I could have been putting something out and they educated me up on some stuff. And you can be pushing out so much positivity, you're going to get neg negative responses back sometimes just because they see something that you you that they don't see themselves so it's just like walking your truth stand your ground if you know something's not right and you have the power to fix it fix it <laughs> fix it i know sometimes it's hard for change trust me i know i, I get uncomfortable real quick because there's things that i know i need to let go of things that I'm dealing with that, you know, I, I really don't. It's just, you know, like I've told one of my close friends, when we get in this situation, you feel stagnant and you feel stuck. There's times that you can sit up here and basically the situation you're going through could be something that's just totally psychological. I'm not saying that you're making things up or whatever, but there's a time when you get tired you won't even mention it anymore. You won't even put it out there anymore. It'll be just like, you know what? Especially when it got something to do with people. You can't take it personal. You know, I mean, there'll be people and us being like we are with feelings, we'll get upset about it. Like, why did this person do this to me? Why did that person do that to me? And, you know, it's just like, that's a personal issue with them. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Even though they might have directed it at you, that's just a personal problem. So it's just like, when we go through things like that, you see the truth for what it is. You know, things might be taken out of our lives and we're trying to understand why things might be prolonged. And we try to understand why. You know, I get frustrated because, you know, I'm just like, you know, I put my truth out. It might piss people off. You know, I get pissed off at the fact is that you know, I've seen things or I know things that I've went through. And it's just like, the only good thing I can say about it is that I had a positive response because I just feel like I can tell anybody, it's like when you know my true story from A to point B to point C to point D, if you can walk in my shoes and actually say you didn't try to kill anybody, you didn't try to kill yourself, you didn't try to go on eight, you know, eight, mm-mm, and just act the fool with everybody, you know, you're a good one. Because it, it just took a lot for me not to put my hands on nobody. There has been days I didn't want to wake up. There have been days I didn't want to live anymore. But I knew there was a reason why I was going through the things I was going through. There was a purpose for me to have to go through this, me to have to make videos, me to have to, you know, find out all these about these things, go through trials and tribulations, and come back and, you know, talk to y'all about it. Because it's not, a lot of people are not going to go out and say that. You know, a lot, I know a lot of, you know, YouTubers that got a lot of positive, you know, content going on for their things. You know, we're all doing different things because we all have to sprout out love and, you know, awareness all over the place. Even if it's about, you know, um, current events that's going on, you know, there's a lot of people like me that don't even watch the news, so that'd be a good thing when somebody can brush you up on the things that's going on, or, you know, whatever, and yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that, but it's just, when you're on your, on your journey, there's going to be a lot of things that cannot be explained, there's going to be a lot of things that is not going to be pretty, but just know that truth will set you free. But first, a pitch <laughs> So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Like and subscribe. Get a sister up. I would love to hear from you as much as you getting to know me. You know.
how as much love and light as possible. You know, stay blessed, stay prosperous, keep me in your prayers. I will definitely do the same thing for you. And, you know, send out as much vibes, good vibes as you possibly can. Raise your vibrations, meditate as you possibly can. Read up on as much stuff as you possibly can because we got to prepare for whatever's coming. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild. Thank mm -hmm. you.